Now, this video is going to be on liquidity, how to actually identify liquidity, how to use liquidity to your advantage and how um, ICT actually uses liquidity to his advantage um, and me just breaking it down into a very, very short video because um, I know his videos can be full of a lot of fluff. Although his uh, concepts do work very well, um, it's sometimes very hard to understand. So I'll be simplifying that in this video. If you continue watching, I promise you, you'll be able to use this uh, concept to your advantage straight, straight, straight away to your trading and apply that to your trading to finally become profitable. Firstly, to start off with, we're going to start with the trend line liquidity. Now, trend line liquidity um, to retail traders, trend lines are normally used um, for bounces, uh, just like so. We have one bounce here, one bounce here, one bounce here. So, retail traders will normally position themselves to go short on a bounce. However, what we look for is um, the trend line to actually be faked out and um, taken out all of these highs. Um, and actually take out the trend line in itself to actually go grab liquidity and then go in the opposite direction. So as you can see here, we've got a trend line going up in here. We've had uh, the trend line being taken out into a higher time frame PD array, which for example, is an order block in this case. Um, so we actually want the fake out to be into some sort of area of interest. We don't just want it to be in, the, um, in open air. We wanna have reasoning behind everything we actually do. So faked out into an order block. Uh, and then we get the move in the opposite direction. Now I'm going to show you a little bit um, of a live example here just so you guys can actually put it into play, put it into your trades and actually maximize your profit, start actually being profitable um, and using the correct uh, ways of actually trading and not being part of that hurdle of retail traders where you're always getting faked out, um, taking losses and the main example here is to catch these big moves. We don't want to be catching these small moves, the big moves with liquidity inside them, with liquidity being taken is the ones that we want to actually be a part of. Now, here we have a live example. We've got a four hour. So this is a higher time frame area of interest, four hour um, order block. Now, what we want to do is when prices are approaching our order block, we actually want to jump into lower time frames. Um, and as you can see here, we've got a perfect trend line here. Now, retail traders will position themselves in areas like this to catch bounces like this to catch small small moves like so however we um actually want to position ourselves to catch the bigger moves bigger risk to reward obviously means bigger profits and when you can actually wait for moves like this you only need a few of them a month to actually um make thousands and thousands of dollars now as you can see we've got an order block we're not inside the order block yet and we've got a trend line here so it's perfect for the trend line liquidity to be taken into an order block and then get that move away so um if i play forward now as you can see trend line liquidity has now been taken what we want to see is a move back under and then as you can see this move alone is already bigger than all of these and it hasn't even done the complete move so if i continue playing you can see that um, this huge move is very fruitful imagine catching a trade and positioning yourself within one of these if i jump into um, a position like so um and I catch this, maybe if you want to catch it, once it breaks back under, have our stop losses just uh, at the top of the order block and then catch it to take out maybe um, sort of catching this whole move would just be a one to three in itself. So as you can see here, trend line liquidity, very, very, very useful, um, very simple concept. Remember, taking out liquidity, trend line liquidity into a higher time frame area of interest and then catching the reversal moves. high liquidity or equal low liquidity. So um, essentially what this will be is when you um, see equal highs and equal lows, you can actually use this for liquidity. Now how uh, retail traders will normally trade equal highs and equal lows is when price comes back into this area, um, they'll normally tend to go uh, for a bounce away. However, you can see that price shoots straight above um, these equal highs, uh, which is known as resistance for retail traders and uh, retail traders would have lost a lot of money here. However, that is going to be all the market, uh, all the sort of um, money uh, injected into the market for us to actually take advantage of the bigger moves. Now, how you're going to actually use this is you're going to have your higher time frame analysis whether that be an order block that you want to get traded into on a higher time frame. So on this side, we have a four hour order block that we want a uh, price to actually trade into. Now, what do we do? We drop into lower time frames um, to sort of see when we're going to get that sort of tap in. Now, along with a higher time frame order block, what do we have here? We have equal highs. These are perfect to use. So as we've got here, um, let me just draw a trend line here. So all of these here, these three here. Now they don't have to be pinpoint exactly um, equal. Uh, they can be relatively equal. So if they're in and around each other um, and look equal, just like so, 
you can actually use this as um, uh, equal high liquidity or equal low so here we'll be using an equal high and then we've got a four hour order block that we want to get moved into so what do we do now this is where patience plays into trading i know a lot of gurus talk about patience 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 but this is the true meaning of patience we'll have our setup a high time frame set up here for our older block to get moved into um, along with our bearish bias so we actually want to move lower and then we've got equal highs there so we've got now three confluences in why price should move up take out liquidity and then move down so uh, if i play this as we see we're waiting we're waiting now we're this is where we're not actually hands-on in the market looking for entries we're actually just waiting for price to come into our area of interest so we can look for executions but coupled with these equal highs it gives us another confluence to actually take those sales so whilst we're actually waiting we wait for those equal highs to be taken as you've seen here equal highs perfectly taken we get a move back under um which allows us to position ourselves for a short um stops just above that high um again what what has been left here we can use equal lows equal highs as target plays as well as confluences to enter trades so as you've seen here equal lows this is all liquidity like the the, the market is always seeking liquidity right oh, we're always seek, uh, seeking liquidity you can use them as targets as well as confluence to actually enter a trade now if we have this as a um target uh does that target get smashed uh, yes it does and it gets smashed with flying colors so you could have even extended your tp there um, but that is very simple concept on how to use equal highs and equal lows as liquidity whether you're using it as a confluence to enter or actual target plays for your trades